you can't talk about Sigil without talking about the Lady of Pain. You know, her face dates back to the covers uh, of Planescape from second edition. It is her city. She has always been there and always will be there. She is a mystery and uh, omnipotent, uh, and she can bar any creature uh, from Sigil. She can cause every portal in Sigil to cease to function, which you can imagine would have catastrophic effects to all of the people that rely on them um, and is not to be trifled with. <laughs> One would think that she would be a figure worthy of worship or that cults would grow up around her and those have been tried and very very quickly discouraged and deterred and that does not happen. One does not worship the lady. If one tries, that person might find themselves mazed, which yeah. is banished to a, a sort of demi-plane pocket dimension. That is an infinitely looping sort of copy of Sigil alleyways or streets or hallways in, a, in their home. Just never ending. No one, no one else in it. They don't get tired. They don't need to eat or drink. Uh, they, just they just, they're just there alone in these endless twisting hallways and pathways with no way out. Uh, or, and, you know, are they the lucky ones or the ones who are just flensed with, yeah. <laughs> with a gaze, the lucky ones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who can say? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. If there is a city out there in the D&D multiverse that is at the center, how does that affect the politics of that city, uh, the philosophy, the, 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 I mean, just the economy of it? <laughs> sure. Right? So what it should be is absolute chaos. <laughs> like... <laughs> Everyone from everywhere is there. Beings that are complete anathema to one another show up on the streets. Creatures that shouldn't be able to exist in proximity to each other sh can show up there at any given time. It should be chaos, it should be war, and yet it's not. And part of the reason that it's not is, of course, because of the Lady of Pain. I've always liked the Lady of Pain because of the fact that you never... I, I, n I never want to know who the Lady of Pain is. Yes. This is one of those very important moments where this has to remain a mystery. Yes. We, over the years, we've had, like, even Asmodeus has a stat block at some point in D&D's history, right? But, like, this is the kind of thing where I'm like, I don't want to know. I don't know, want to know what the mystery of this character is. Yes. And why they can, like, prevent gods from showing up in Sigil. Like, that is so interesting to me. Absolutely. And I mean, it's an important thing for storytellers and for DMs in general. As soon as you say what something is, it's just that thing. Yeah. But while it's a mystery, it's everything. It could be anything. Any place your mind goes with it is a story you could tell about that character. And it's such ripe ground for DMs who might want to explore how how she operates, who she is, how she came into being, what the situation with Sigil is, how it was created, all of those mysteries, it's all on the table so long as she's an, an enigma. So it's something we very much wanted to preserve. How do you go about role-playing that, though? I, this is not a character that's going to be ha sitting down for a conversation with you at a coffee shop, but still, yes. like there is a gravitas to playing a character like that. Yes. Uh, how do you roleplay that? With silent menace. <laughs> okay. Because that's the situation with, yeah. the, with the Lady of Pain. She's meant to be this, this figure who's separate from everyone else. She's silent. Her face is mask-like. People don't know her origins. She doesn't speak. She, she floats through the city. Everybody wonders about her. But all they really know is that with a glance, she can effectively erase them from existence. It's her power that can shut off every portal and seal the city, nothing in, nothing out. Uh, that means, you know, there's no farmland in Sigil, so yeah. if all the portals are closed, no food is coming in. A lot of clean water might come in from things like portals to the elemental plane of water. If those are shut off, yeah. we have serious problems, right? Waste uh, goes out through portals because yeah. there's, you know, it, you're built in a big stone tire. There's there's nowhere to expand to. There's nowhere yeah. for things to go except out through portals. Uh, so she has quite the stranglehold on uh, on conflicts and power because she can lock all the doors. There are some creatures that work, well, kind of work with the Lady of Pain that can communicate somewhat. Yes. Who, who are they? So the Dabas are these 
mysterious, also silent figures who, like the Lady of Pain, drift through the city and their primary mandate is to make sure Sigil runs smoothly. And this might be from making sure that Razor Vine doesn't overgrow um, vital intersections or keeping peace between warring factions. But these single-minded peacekeepers, they um, tend to not be threats in quite the same way that she is. They're more messengers and arbiters, warnings that, hey, if you get out of line, then you're going to attract the lady's ire. They speak in these weird things called rebuses. Um, they're, you know, kind of like pictures uh, that you kind of have to decipher. Use the dabus as a buffer between the Lady of Pain and the characters. If you see the Lady of Pain once in a campaign, it is an epic moment. It is, it is the height of everything. If you see her 10 times, she's just some lady going down the street. <laughs>